Hi, and again uh, with this task B random circles for week seven. So um, step two is to get a random size and the size must be a value between zero and 100. So let me just real fast show you how I would do this. Um, because I think the way I do these things is to, um, is always in more steps and with fewer code at a time than everybody else does it. So if the instructions say, write a function, get random size, then that's what I would do is function, get random size, takes no parameters, and it returns a value. So um, what I like to do is hook up my functions first and then make them work second. And that may seem a little backwards to you, but, but it's much easier to test your function if you have some sense that in fact it's doing what you think it's gonna do and all you're having to do is um, test its innards and not its outers. So, um, Let's just come up with a var size and set it to some value and return it, okay? Because again, the specification for this was that we should be returning an integer between zero and 100. 66 is good enough um, and different than what we've had before. So um, now what I wanna do is outside my loop, I want to have a variable called random size. And inside my loop, after I pick the color, I want to set random size equal to woo, random size just by calling that function. And down here, the size is what gets passed to um, draw circle as the radius. So instead of 55, we're gonna, we're gonna have um, a radius of 66, so it'll be a little bit bigger and they'll probably overlap and that's just fine, okay. So um, now we're calling with a random color and a random size, but we're still putting all of these guys in a row. So if we run this page, I uh, can't run the JavaScript, have to run, okay. Save the JavaScript run the HTML. Um, go ahead and open it up. And I'm gonna close these other two. Okay, and if you remember what they looked like before, we had slightly smaller circles. They're overlapping just because the centers are still set as if they were 50, um, but now they're 66. So now, um, the slide pretty much walks us through how we get a random value. I'm actually going to steal that code. Um, why type code in if you can steal it? So um, if I go up here and I grab this line to get a random index, it's got basically everything I need all typed out. Um, except here, instead of a random index, I want a random size. And the slide tells us, if we go back and check on it, that um, if we want to generate circles with radii between zero and 100, we have to actually multiply the decimal value by 101 to get decimals between zero and 101. And then when we do the floor, that brings everything back to 100. And you'll have to work that out. Just, it, you need to think about that a minute. But at any rate, so I already know get random size works, that if I can get a variable size here, I'm gonna return it and it's gonna be used well within my code. So now the only thing I'm testing is whether this is gonna give me a different size circle every time. So if I go back to my page, I shift refresh, we start to see random sizes, so that's good. And um, that's all we're going to do for now. Random, random locations come next.